for this video, we are putting these bricks along our path line. This, or these paver bricks we put in two years ago, which I have just loved. We put some rubber um, chips along there, but to tell you the truth, I just felt like it needed to be a little more perfected. So we're putting the bricks. So stick around. So the first two steps of this project we've already done, which is planning and shopping. Those have already been done, but we've done here today is we took a measuring tape. We measured from this to the brick right here. We went around all of these along both sides. We lined up the bricks. Now we're taking this two by four. We put it there so it's all straight along there. And then let me show you the stool. So I'm gonna go along the edge of the bricks right along there, create kind of a line with my edger tool. Then we'll take the shovel, we'll dig up the grass, and lay the bricks. And we'll do that on both sides. So let's get this done. Okay, so with that cutting tool, I made a small little crease right along here so it's all straight. Now me and Shiloh are gonna take our flat head shovels. We're gonna dig it out, make sure it's level with about right here. Get this thing done. So now I'm going to take all this dirt and put it in this wheelbarrow. We're gonna use it somewhere else in the yard, but for right now we just gotta get it out of the way. So this project is coming along wonderfully. So we got rid of all that dirt, we put it in the wheelbarrow, we took it to different places in the yard because um, when we had that fence put in, it was kind of chunky, it wasn't very flat. So we took the dirt, we leveled some areas off, and we leveled this area off as best as possible. Now I'm just getting the bricks and making sure they're flat. You just don't want the brick kind of floppy. So you gotta make sure it's level underneath you want it left with the grass, which is, I mean, you gotta be very particular in detail about it, but it's not that hard. So I'm almost done with this. Just gotta finish this small amount and go do Shiloh's side. Shiloh's doing that side so far by him, himself, and he is doing a wonderful job. So we are almost done. Let's keep working. <laughs> that doggy is not happy that we're out here. Our little dog Luffy is freaking out. He just doesn't like to be left alone that long. His dad just came home. Yeah, that's true. Josh just came home also. Okay. Okay, so we came out here on a different day because when we were out here working, it just got really cold. And I'd already been at work all day, so I'm out here on a new day. It's very nice. I'm just gonna finish this job. <clears throat> okay, so I was digging these and I kind of created the crease and I was just putting the bricks in and I hadn't paid attention, but it was kind of curving this way. So I took the two by four, took the two by four, lined it up right there. It looks like the back three bricks I just needed to dig back just a little bit more so it will be straight and then I'll basically be done with the bricks on this side and we'll do the other side. So I am all done with this side. Shiloh is finishing that other side. He is very close to being done. He's a little bit pooped but hey I can help him. But, oh, the car's passing. This side, I'm just gonna fill with the rocks, the marble chips, and then we'll do that side. So let me grab the marble chips. So we are almost done with this. We got all the bricks laid on this one side. Now we gotta just lay the marble chips 
and then we will be all done. It is dark out here, but we are so close to being done. We are all done with this project. I am so happy with it. I never could have done this without Shiloh's assistance. He was just so, so helpful. I just, I really love these stepping stones, but it just gives it such a finishing touch to do the bricks and these marble chips. I love these marble chips. They are so pretty. We use them in the backyard. I'm sure I'll use them in plenty of places. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.